I'm in shock. I went to the Albert Heijn. That's the supermarket here. <laughs> it, it was it was crazy. The supermarkets are making a lot of money right now. Albert Heijn and other supermarkets people just please take your responsibility here. How hard is it? <laughs> Got my ram. You might uh, might have seen the vlog, and I was explaining that I couldn't export the the film I made about uh, about fibromyalgia. It was very big, and my ram was just not not enough. So I bought some ram. Happy flopsy. Always something to do. No work, but still always some work. And uh, today I have to go to the supermarket hate that now. <laughs> well, it's never really something I love doing, going to the supermarket, but now with the corona crisis, I prefer cycling. I think that's safer than going to the supermarket because not everyone takes a distance, but maybe they do now. But uh, I don't know, it's always a bit nerve-wracking and depressing because it's so quiet in there and all these measurements they have to do. It makes, uh, makes it look really realistic what's going on, you know? When I'm on the bike, I see nature around me and I can kind of forget. It's going to be really warm weather tomorrow and Monday. Tomorrow is Sunday. So one side I'm excited. That's good. Nice weather, spring. But then I'm a little bit worried that a lot of people will go outside tomorrow. Sunday, 20 degrees. That's the perfect weather for people to go outside. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. Kirk would just send me this text. Nice to know. Oh, and I'm uh, bringing this bike back. It's uh, it's pretty handy. It has wheels. You can make a suitcase of it. B3 bag. I recently got these. I actually interviewed someone. Um, it's a, a, a Dutch woman who, uh, no, a Dutch couple who designed this uh, th this bike bag. I thought it's very handy when I go on. Uh, on bike trips and I stay in hotels, like sometimes I camp. But if you stay in hotels, you know, you have to lift all your bike bags to the room. And of course the room is always far, far, far away. And I'm not so good in lifting because fibromyalgia and it's mainly in my shoulders and neck. So lifting is not really great. So I thought this is really, really handy. Well, I had trips planned this month and I wanted to try this back out, but I have to wait a little bit longer. Well, at least I'm bringing it now every time to the supermarket. Let's go shopping. There's a nursery home here behind me, just uh, next to the supermarket. The last days, kids were already making uh, drawings for the people inside because they're not allowed to go outside. I just saw some people waving and today apparently there's some music for them. Yesterday you might have seen my vlog about uh, teddy bears. Well, this is another really nice activity people came up with to give some positivity, you know, because it's hard when you're old and you have to stay inside. En dit is natuurlijk gewoon ook leuk voor die oudere mensen. Ja.
back from the supermarket. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I'll tell you later why. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm in shock. It all started so nice with that, uh, you know, the little street organ and people in the nursery home dancing behind the windows. And then I went to the Albert Heijn, that's the supermarket here. I know it's Saturday, I know it's really stupid to go on a Saturday, but I really needed something. And uh, <laughs> it's, it was it was crazy. And I'm uh, I'm really annoyed. I know I have to bring positivity, but right now I'm very annoyed. Not not really with the um, people that go to the shop, but really with the managers. You know that should take the situation, uh, be wise, take their responsibility. But it already started with getting the trolley. There was something to clean it with, but that was just, you know, you could do that or not. So I cleaned the trolley and the person who gave me the trolley looked at me like, what is she doing? And no one was doing it. And then I went inside and I was so busy and you have to have a trolley now. You have to go in with a trolley to keep the distance, but people were so close to each other. And then there was actually staff and I know they're very young, but they were in the middle of the path stocking. And you could hardly pass. And if I had to pass, I had to go in between them. So I went backwards. And then there were these two girls, again, really young. And they were just talking to each other, having a nice chat in the middle of the path. And they were this close to each other. And then you would say, okay, maybe they're not listening to the manager. Well, I saw someone that was like a manager, whatever, higher guy, you know, and he was talking to a girl what she had to do. And I had to go in between them. So, and then they're all wearing things like saying, take enough distance. Well, I was in a pharmacy a few days ago and they, at the start, they were not taking it that seriously, I thought. But this time they were cleaning the baskets and they were cleaning everything. And I thought it was, was pretty good. But here, okay, they, re they wear t-shirts saying, keep distance, but they're not doing it. So, if you're not doing it as a manager, as the staff of the supermarket, then how are the, the guests, how are the clients, how are the customers, that's the word, how are the customers going to do the right thing? It was even almost impossible to do the right thing because I, I had to basically had to go backwards all the time because the staff was in the middle of the path. And, you know, I know that... Oh, sorry, this this makes me really angry, guys. Supermarkets now are making a lot of money. They're making more money than in Christmas time. A lot of people lose money, like I do. And that's fine. That's totally fine. Because I don't think that's the most important thing. So I really try to do all the good things. And so that people keep healthy. That, you know, my grandmother that's 88 years old. That she goes through this. That all the people that have you know, that have chronic illnesses or that people that are older, I want to get all these people through it healthy. So I don't care I make less money, but the supermarkets are making a lot of money right now. And why can't they? I mean, there was so much step there and I know they have to do, you know, fill everything up because apparently they are behind all the time because people bought so much toilet paper and blah, blah, blah. But if they're making so much money now, can't they just do a few more measurements? Like someone at the entrance explaining what to do. Have you, you know, not all getting trolleys at the same time, but someone there that gives the trolleys. Line up that you're not with too much people in the supermarket at the same time. Have some staff there telling what to do. And most importantly, don't have staff in the middle of the path doing their work. Or maybe you can, but maybe, I don't know, there must be some ways to make it just a little bit easier to start with. Tell the staff that they're not allowed to stand next to each other and chit chat. You know, I'm not, not seeing my grandmother, you know, I'm not seeing my parents at the moment. I don't see my friends. I don't see anyone 
because we have to keep distance. And then I see Steph, I see these young girls chatting and laughing, and I'm like, that's not fair. We all have to do something at the moment. We all have to... <sighs> Sorry, guys. <sighs> that's the first time, by the way, I touched my face, because the whole way I was like, don't touch my face, wash my hands, wash my hands. I washed my hands then for, I think, a minute. Albert Hein and other supermarkets people, just please take your responsibility here. How hard is it if you make so much money already? So yeah, makes me angry. Um, early on when I said it's going to be nice weather, well, I already saw that there were a lot of people outside now. So I think tomorrow we're going to stay on the terrace here because I'm not, you know, I was thinking of, I like to go to my private beach next to the river. But if I see how many people are outside now, that's not the idea. I mean, it's going better now, the situation. But if you all start doing this shit, before you know, we're back to, to zero, you know? <sighs> but I really like the street organ. I really like that. Um, yeah. Apparently they were invited by a nursery home. And that's... Those things, those things. And, and the bear hunts. There are things I really like to concentrate on. Um, yeah. The boyfriend said straight away, you should write a story about this, about what's going on in, su in the supermarket. But I'm already thinking, okay, because I work as a journalist, I could pitch this story. And I don't know, I'm not even sure they would be interested. It's, um, and I don't really, okay, I put this in this video and then I go forward. I don't want to concentrate on an activity, so I'm sorry guys, I need you to get it out of my system. But um, yeah, now it's back to positivity and uh, going to edit this vlog and uh, edit the travel vlog for tomorrow where I'm cycling through the, the flower fields that's from a year ago. I still had that footage, so that's for tomorrow. And I think I'm going to just sit on the terrace tomorrow and stay away from everyone because it's not such, such a hard thing to do. So um, a change starts with yourself, doesn't it? So if we all do things the right way, then then that's good, you know? And that's good to concentrate on, on, the, on the positive things we do and about, you know, on the street organ and the beer hunt. So uh, thank you for <laughs> all for watching. Sorry for that, uh, that emotional attack but um yeah i really wanted to start shouting in that supermarket maybe i should have done that but uh, i hope to see you tomorrow if you like this video please push your thumb up you can do that below and subscribe and uh, see you tomorrow bye <music>